let's look at strings in C++. So I'm going to first create a couple of strings. They're part of the standard library. So I'll do std and then string. And I'm going to have this string be, uh, let's see, s1. Be my first string. And I'm going to set it to hello world. And then I'm going to create a second one, std uh, string s2 equals, let's make it empty, just empty string. All right, now I want to compare these strings or kind of look at these strings and kind of get you some ideas of what's going on here. First of all, let's look at just displaying the contents of the string. So do std c out, and then I'm going to first uh, display a little message here. So string, or maybe just s1 s1 equals and I'm going to display the contents of s1 and then a new line and L. all right and then I'm going to do the same thing for the second string right here so I'll just change it to s2 and s2 so display string contents. I'll go ahead and run this right now. So I run this strings program and it prints out s1 equals hello world and s2 equals nothing. So that's fine. Now I want to see if they're actually empty. Are they empty strings or not? So I'll do uh, check if empty. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. Just copy these things right there. And this time I'm going to say S1 empty. And this one is S2 empty. And I'm going to, instead of printing out the string, I'm going to put out the empty method. So you can see if the strings are empty. Now we should expect S1 to be not empty and S2 to be empty. So I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that S1 is listed as zero for not empty. And S2 is listed as one for true, it is empty. So that is exactly what we expected. The S2 is empty. So you can use that to check to see if you have the empty string or not. Now I'm gonna check for the length check string length so i'll do the same code right here it's just i'll change it from empty to length length and length change these things as well to length and length all right now we should expect that S2 is going to have a length of 0 and S1 is going to have a length of about 11. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that S2 has a length of 0 and S1 has a length of 11. So that's exactly what we expected. Things are going good so far. Now I want to modify the strings. Let's do a insert. So I will do insert, insert first a character. And so I'll do, actually no, I'll do a S1 insert. And I'm going to insert um, at position zero. I'm going to insert three letter capital A's. And in S2, I'm going to insert, I really only have the position zero as a possibility, right? Zero. I'm going to insert three and letter Z's. Oops. Three A's right there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to three A's into S1 and three Z's into S2. 
I'm going to display the contents of these strings so we can see what they look like after I've inserted things right here. So I'll go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. So you can see that I've inserted three A's at the beginning of the hello world and three Z's at the beginning of the empty string. So it just fills it up. Now I want to try inserting maybe the first string into the second string. So I will do um, S2 insert and I want to insert at position zero. Maybe not zero, let's put it at position three, um, S1. And then I'm going to display the contents of this again. So you can see what has happened. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that we have the inserts that happen right here. And then now I've inserted string one right here at the end of string two. So string two now has this string one inside of it. Now let's find out what's there. So let's do a little find thing. String find. So I want to figure out where in string one is the AAA and where in string two is the AAA. So we'll just copy some code from right here. And we're going to do paste this code right here and we'll do a S1. Let's do a find. So we're going to find. And this one right here is a find as well. And we are trying to find the AAA. And this one we're trying to find the AAA as well. Now, from what we know already, string one, the AA is the very beginning. So it should start at position zero. String two should start at position three. So we should expect it to say zero and three. So we go ahead and run this and we find zero and three, exactly as we expected. Now we're going to try to compare the strings and see if they match something. But maybe before we compare, let's just change the strings. So we're going to do um, my S1 is going to be equal to, uh, let's just do a straight A. And we'll do... S2 equal to a ZZZ. And if we compare them, we'll do a comparison as TT C out compare S1 to S2 equals and so the reason I'm doing this is so you can see what kind of results come with each comparison. So I'll do S1 compare S2. So we're seeing if they match or not. And we'll have an end line here. And then we're going to do one more comparison where the, so the S2 switch the S2 and the S1. And so S2 is going to see if S1 is inside of it. And then we'll have one more comparison, I guess, just to, to compare S, maybe S1 and S1. So S1 with S1. All right, so let's go ahead and compare these and see what happens. So if I compare this S1 to S2, you can see that S1 is comparing to S2. It is saying negative 1. And if I compare S2 to S1, it says positive 1. 
So what it's saying is these two things don't match. And now it's telling us which one is alphabetically first. And if it's negative one, then that means that the first one right here is alphabetically first. And if it's positive one, it says that this one right here is po is first, which we would expect because this is the AAA and the S2 is the ZZZ. And then when you compare S1, S1, it's saying they match. They're exactly the same. You could compare it um, either this way, or you could also compare it by just uh, comparing it to a string Oops. directly. So if I do compare this one to A, then I would actually probably want to do, let's do that. I could say this one right here is A. So if I compare that one, you can run it and you can see they do in fact match up exactly. All right. The last thing I want to show you is substrings. So substrings. If I want to get part of a string, then maybe I want to see what the contents are of a string at a certain place. So let's have my S1 equal A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That might be all of it if I didn't mess up somewhere. Okay. So now I've got this uh, sub string, string create, uh, this string created, and I want to now do a substring of that, C out, and we'll do S1 dot sub string, and I want to do from a position to a, another position. So let's do from uh, five to 10. And then end L. If I do that, our standard library, and L, then I should be able to see from position 5 to position 10. I go ahead and run that. And you can see the letters right there. So that's how you can do substrings. And so we've looked at um, just changing the contents of string. Um, checking to see if the string is empty, checking the string length, doing inserts, doing finds, doing compares, and substrings. So this should give you a little bit of an idea of how to work with strings.